Now, more than a, a month has passed since Seoul proposed holding high-level talks with Pyongyang over pending inter-Korean issues. This offer remains on the table, but the North has yet to give an answer. Wanting to try and get the ball rolling, Seoul's unification minister renewed the offer on Thursday. Our Hwang Sangi reports. Speaking at a forum in Seoul on Thursday, South Korea's top policymaker for inter-Korean affairs had a message for North Korea. In order to solve pending issues, South and North Korea must put their heads together, see each other and talk. Our government is willing to discuss all issues brought to the table. North Korea has been sitting on a South Korean offer for high-level talks made last month saying Seoul must first stop civic activists from flying anti-Pyongyang leaflets before any meetings can take place. Unification Minister Ryu gil also noted the importance of international cooperation in preparing for reunification. He said more economic projects like the Najin Hasan railway project with the two Koreas and Russia are under consideration. We think a five-way project involving the two Koreas, China, Russia and Japan is also possible. Touching upon President Park Geun-hye's speech at the United Nations, Liu also promised efforts to improve the dire human rights situation in North Korea and to expand humanitarian aid. But with no concrete progress made in inter-Korean relations so far, some are calling Liu's plans unrealistic. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.